Matt here with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to talk about the vendor supplier management. Uh, this is a very useful tool for your purchasing people uh, to kind of get a bird's eye view of everything going on with a particular vendor slash supplier uh, combination. Obviously, it is done by vendor ID, if you look at here on the screen, uh, and a vendor can have multiple suppliers. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it's not necessarily always one-to-one, -one, though a lot of people do one vendor to one supplier. I have this defaulted for all locations. I, I did date range for uh, the whole year. And then I also put in my uh, supplier, or excuse me, vendor ID. I, I could also narrow it down to a vendor invoice if I'm only looking for particular information on that. <clears throat> if you do happen to come in here and change some information, just like in some inquiry screens, you can right click on here and refresh the data. Uh, I'm not going to go over every single tab. Uh, there is uh, a lot of information here and a lot of it's just carried over information. It's just information that you would see in supplier maintenance, like the physical address. Uh, things like that, vendor info. Uh, a lot of this stuff is just carried over from vendor maintenance or uh, supplier maintenance. But there are some other interesting things on here like PO variances. This will give you every PO that maybe had a variance based on cost, or in this case, it's a freight variance. Um, it will also give you quantity variance. Uh, so this is useful if you're just looking for uh, a quick bird's eye view. How often have you had uh, uh, variances and this will give you a year to date total up here as well now down below i think is where some more of the interesting stuff happens uh, the very first one is po management which i think is probably the most uh, useful part here if you're trying to look at one particular item from a supplier or just a particular location supplier um, when you come in here you can also you can put in your location id so that immediately narrows that down but you can also uh, add another filter. You can do a buyer ID, item description, item ID, PO number. So if I put in item ID, it will then open another field that I can search with. Now, obviously you can just come down here and filter like normal, uh, but it is an extra, uh, in search filter they give you. Um, so this is showing me all of my open PO lines for my criteria from the beginning. Also, if you click on one, like we'll click on this third PO, the bottom here will show you any transfer production or whatever is linked to or sales order most importantly or, or direct ship or, or whatever is linked to that po that information will be down below um, and if you come over here to the right it's just a bunch of information but there is also some activities or interactive pieces you can do you can change the expirate expected date on here you can change the required date you can put a note that hey this is shipped um, it's also giving your average lead time for that item supplier combination uh, you can put in a date. Hey, I acknowledge they acknowledge this on this date. Uh, you can mark it for a follow up, and then there's also a spot for doing some notes. Um, there are other things in here like audit trails, um, which are very similar to the audit trails you would see like in supplier maintenance. The one above here, I believe, is in uh, for vendor maintenance. Um, it gives you a list of all the different items that that uh, supplier has, contacts. Um, it will also give you, you know, returns, supplier on time. If you had issues, research issues, gives you purchase receipts analysis. Um, there's just a lot of information in here. Uh, like I said, I, I believe the PO management is probably one of the most useful tools uh, in, in this screen. But it's definitely worth a look. And if you guys have questions uh, about this particular module, if you, if you want to see a video on something else, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.